What's up guys, Dave here. I'm going to show you how to fix the force feedback problem that a lot of people have been having with the Logitech G29 and G920 in American Truck Simulator. I'm currently on version 1.2.1.1. Um, so the first thing you need to do is before you jump to American Truck Simulator, you need to make sure to open and launch Logitech Gaming Software. Make sure it recognizes your steering wheel and it also runs it through its full 900 degree calibration. If you do not do that before going into American Truck, uh, for some reason the game will not communicate with the wheel and it won't allow you to change the settings for the force feedback in game. So I'm just going to show you guys, um, I'm in my truck and first thing you want to do is start it. Now I'm just going to show you, I have a lot of force feedback right now and I'm it's taking two hands to turn the wheel and it sucks so what you need to do is go into your start menu go into options there's a couple common things I found uh, first is you're going to go to controls sometimes it gets rid of the device so you need to make sure you have keyboard and the Logitech G29 driving force selected also sometimes it'll take the controller sub tape and knock it from a wheel down to a gamepad so make sure that's checked Again, force feedback needs to be on, and I found 90% of the time it's either the gain or the stiffness that's causing the problem. So all I do is I take it and I drag it, and then I move them back. And you can actually test from this window, and I can already tell my force feedback is gone. So go ahead and hop back in my truck, and I'll show you. I'm just going to use one finger here, and that's how easy it is. So that's all you guys need to do to fix your Logitech G29 or G920 force feedback problem. Keep on trucking.